A source with knowledge of the Brady-Belichick relationship also told O'Connor, quote, if you're married 18 years to a grouchy person who gets under your skin and never compliments you after a while, you want to divorce him. Tom knows Bill is the best coach in the league, but he's had enough of him. If Tom could, I think he would divorce him, unquote. Our NFL analyst and three-time Super Bowl champ <laughs> with the Patriots, Teddy Bruschi. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Teddy, I mean, you played for nearly under a decade for uh, Bill Belichick. Yeah. What is yeah. your reaction to all of this? I feel that some way about Bill, sometimes about Bill when I was in there, sure. Yeah, yeah he, gets, he gets under your skin. Um, it's a highly pressurized situation. Just when you think you had a good game, you realize you didn't. You know, so it's constant pressure that's always on top of you. Do you sometimes consider, absolutely, I've had enough? Walking out of that building at times, I had the same feeling like, this guy's crazy, I've had enough, I can't take this anymore. But then it subsides, it subsides, and emotional times throughout the season, I mean, February, March, when you get up into your 10th plus years, do you consider um, calling it quits, especially when you're under a coach like this? So absolutely. So I, I, I can agree that would Tom have those feelings? Sure. I had them too later in the career, in, later in my career, but you have to deal with the pressure. I know you end up coming back and still playing, and the wins always help. So it's a tough, pressurized situation in New England. We've all established that. If yeah. you've spent 18 years of, 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 of in this system, yes, you're going to have those feelings at times. Mm -hmm. But once Tom went there for the mandatory, what was it, mini camp, all right, mandatory mini camp, it was it. He had made his decision, and all of this is behind him now. Like you, you said, the winning helps. The wins help because that's the payoff for the treatment, right? It's a payoff for the relationship. Sometimes it is their goal for you to hate them because they believe sometimes that's what gets the best out of you. So if there's certain ways that you get motivated, if some way isn't working, well, the pressure is then, the thumb is then pressed, mm -hmm. and they want the best out of you every single day. Let's put it back on the quarterback for a moment here. One New England assistant said the general feeling among staff members around 2014 wasn't that Belichick's system could make Super Bowl quarterbacks out of all 32 NFL starters. And here's the quote, but if he gave us any of the top 15, we could do it. The assistant said, I don't think the coaches view Tom as special as everyone else in football does. Mr. Kraft thinks Tom is the greatest gift ever, but the coaches don't. Close quote. What do you make of that? This is absolute <laughs> arrogance. Arrogance as an assistant coach, arrogance as a coach in general. That arrogance that a coach may think that my system is my system. Whoever I put in, we're going to be fine. This is a 40-year, 41-year-old quarterback that's just coming off an MVP season. All right, that... In the last two Super Bowls, they've had to score, I think, close to 70 points. I mean, the offense has had to produce and put points on the board in yeah. critical situations, yeah. and Brady's been the guy. To think that any person can go in there and get this job done is absolutely arrogant and foolish. I don't know who the coach was in saying this, but I'm safe in saying that. Even if I knew this guy, I'd tell it to him to his face that, right. what are you talking about? Because Tom Brady is arguably one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game. And to say you could do that with any quarterback top 15 in the league is foolish. It seems like every few months we get a reiteration of this story. And I, and I, I know that Ian O'Connor has the book. I, yeah. I get that. You can't control when that comes out. But we got the book. We had the Seth Wickersham. Like, we've had these pieces I mean, there before. was real drama in the locker room last year. Absolutely. Was Tom upset the way I, he wants Alex there all the time? And for someone that believes that my TB12 method has got me this far and I want it to be respected, all right? Okay. Yes. And so to have, not have that respected, it would upset me also. So there was a little bit of drama in there that Tom had to work through. But to say that... He was willing to give it all up and not come back. I think the feelings that you have, and then the reality is the goal to play to 45 is still real, and no matter what kind of drama there is, Tom only wants to be a quarterback for the New England Patriots. How fair is it to say maybe there's arrogance on both sides, though? Because you speak to the arrogance, maybe the assistant coach speaking to the strength of the system. My system can do this. It sounds like the TB12 sounds system like might have a little bit of you gotta be it. you got to be confident people, yeah. you know, in this, in this profession. Coaches have to believe that the way that I do things, I could get anybody to do this. <laughs> I laugh at that. But, and players got to believe I can do this until I'm 45. I can do this until I, until I as long as I want to. As long to. as I want. I mean, the reason I retired is because I was told that you don't got it anymore. I had to be told that, though, you know, because I thought I could keep playing. Yeah. That's just the confidence you have to have as a player.